So today we're going to dive into augmented reality. Now, I have found an app that you can use without having to know code, and that just makes this so much easier. I have seen some online tutorials about augmented reality, and you had to know all this code and do all this coding, and it just kept me away from it, and I didn't ever want to dive into it. So today I'm going to show you how to do exactly this it's going to be super easy. Now this app is fairly new and it has a little bit of bugs and sometimes it doesn't want to cooperate, but um, it actually is so much fun once you do figure it out. So that's why I want to make it a little bit easier for you to figure out. And so I'm using this app called Slide AR right there. And I'm going to be using it in conjunction with Procreate. You could also use this with Photoshop or even um, Illustrator. As long as you were able to export things, PNGs with transparent backgrounds and get that, um, get some GIFs going, it's really easy to do. So go ahead and open up Procreate and you're going to make an artwork. You could make something like this. It could be a drawing. It could be anything. Um, you can use this app in conjunction with um, photographs. Gosh, anything that you could manipulate inside of Procreate or Photoshop. Super easy. I did this by photographing a live scene and then creating some little sparkles that jumped around. See, super cool. Okay. So, here I have an artwork that I created. And what I ended up doing was making a bunch of layers and shrinking them as they went and just making them a different color. And that was my first attempt, as you can see here. It's pretty cool. And I added um, a little animation in the background just by making that animation right inside of Procreate with multiple layers. Then I decided I'm going to export those and put them into their own documents. And then I made each one into its own little animation so that it scrolled through the um, color wheel. And you can see that here. So it's like flashing all the different colors. And it did that to each color as it shrank down. And so each one, it looks like it as you can see here, goes through the rainbow. And then I added some sparkles. I, I went ahead and exported that as a blank background with a transparent background. And then I tried to add in some fireworks to add some more GIFs to, just to push the app to see how far it would go and it kept crashing on me. So it's kind of limited into how many GIFs it, it takes because <laughs> I'm sure it's like, nope, too much information. Okay, so once you make your artwork, you make some GIFs, you make some layers, you're going to export all of these layers. You're going to export them as PNGs or GIFs with transparent backgrounds. So here I have this. I'm going to export an animated GIF. So I go to my wrench tool, go to share, animated GIF. And then however fast you want that GIF to roll, I liked it at 12 frames per second, I guess, or maybe that was the last one I used. Make sure you click transparent background. I went ahead and used full resolution, otherwise it comes out kind of grainy. So click full resolution, and here is where you're going to save it to. Don't just save these to your camera roll on your iPad. It won't work, especially the GIFs. So I'm going to save it to my files and that will bring up my cloud and you could save it to your, oh, your Google Drive. It looks like it's not bringing up my Dropbox. Maybe that's full, um, but I have a lot of space on my iCloud Drive, so I'm going to save it there. I already made a file for it, so I'm going to save that GIF 
there. And it's real important that you name your GIFs inside of Procreate so that you're not confused when you go to put them in. So I'm just going to add that there. And then I'm going to do that to the rest of them. And I made them in separate files so I wouldn't get confused. So what I found is if you save your GIFs and your PNGs to your camera roll, it just won't, it won't work. Um, first, it won't work for the GIFs at all. It won't support the GIFs from your camera roll, but it will support them from your files in your cloud. Um, and then for the PNGs, if you're trying to, oh my gosh, if you're trying to upload them from your camera roll, it sometimes it won't make a transparent background. And I don't know why. I think it's just the app because they were fine. They were fine inside my camera roll. They had a transparent background. But when I uploaded them from my camera roll, they would put in a white background. So what I found is if I just uploaded everything to iCloud and did it from there, it would be fine. Now, once you get all your GIFs uploaded, or your PNGs, go ahead and make a target image. This target image could literally be anything. It could be my Kleenex box. It could be a photograph of that. It could be anything. Like, it does not matter. Even if you're doing it for this image and you're, you're doing this, it could pop up. You could have a pop up on a fence post. Whatever you want to put as your target image is fine. So I'm just gonna use this one just because it's it's right here. <laughs> so I'm going to share this as a JPEG and I'm just gonna plop it in the same files that I used for everything else just so it's together. But you could put this in your camera roll. It won't be affected. Okay, so now, now that I have everything made and uploaded, I'm gonna go ahead and go to my Slide AR app. Now, create this in Slide AR, it does make you log in. It makes you have a profile. Oh, look at that. Slides created across devices, yet it doesn't show all of the slides I created across my devices. So um, I'm gonna put this on my phone eventually. Like that's where I want this to be on because that's where I'm gonna do my recording. But what I've done for this one, actually it doesn't matter. So what I've done is I've printed out my target image on a piece of paper so that we can see how this works in real time. So I'm going to set that to the side and I'm going to create this slide. So you press, when you go into your slide AR app and you press that plus sign, it's going to take you to layers. There is no way to back out of this. So if you press that plus sign, um, you'll have to go through and press the plus sign again and fill something in if you want to back out and start over. So I'm going to go to my files because that's where I uploaded everything. This shows me my recent files. I can browse and look through all my files here and go to the file that I had it in and just have them all in one spot like this. Okay, so now I can start placing them down. I'm going to put my sparkles down. That's going to be layer zero but it's not gonna remain layer zero. So this works just like, just like in Procreate, where you have your layers. The, the layer on top is gonna be the layer that you see in front of the bottom layer. Okay, so there's my GIFs, and it shows me a little preview. I'm just gonna place them all in here, one at a time, and layer them. I have red, orange, yellow. Green. And this is why I labeled them because I would not have been able to remember because it doesn't show the exact color that it started with. Okay, then we have blue. And do you see how I made the GIFs where it looks like the color is traveling? Yeah. Fun times. And then purple. And I think we've overloaded the system. No, I'm just kidding. 
it's fine. All right, so once you have all your layers in here and you've positioned them where you want them to go, don't worry, you can always change that later. Click Done. Now we're gonna set the target. The target is the image that I was just talking about, the image that you want to trigger this augmented reality. So we're gonna go in back to our files and use that target, target image I saved, saved as a JPEG, that's this image. This will target our augmented reality and you'll see that in a second. Okay, now press done. And now it's gonna take you to the camera and it wants you to see this target image. So let me get my camera ready. And I'm gonna put my image underneath here. Voila! And then what you can do, let me see if I'm getting this on camera. All right, so we have our target Okay, so now we have our target image and it's showing up our little GIFs here. So it looks cool, but it doesn't give me the, the augmented reality I was wanting. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is go to edit and then you can position and move around these images so that you can change the layers coming up. You can click the plus sign and add more layers if you want to, or delete layers. So to delete a layer, to delete a layer, you just swipe and it deletes it. Swipe to the left. All right, so I don't need to do any of that, but what I want to do is play around with how far out into reality this comes. So that's hard to kind of capture here, but you can kind of see that the image pokes out a little bit more as you go towards the right, and then it sinks back into space as you go to the left. So you can have that kind of depth, or you could have it poking out more. I see down your toe. Okay. So just play around with that sliding thing. The little slider. Now, once you have your augmented reality where you want it, press done and it saves it. And then you can come in and record a little video. So I'm going to record by pressing not. And then I can move this, and it's so cool. So you could do this with your business card. You could do this with, I don't know, an outdoor scene, create cool videos, all sorts of things you could do this with. Export successful, it saves it to my camera roll. So then I can go back, and now I have the slide that I made. Um, I can go to my camera roll and look at that video I created. Look at that, it squashes it. How weird. So they need to fix that. That's not a good that's not a good thing. It it turns it. Interesting. Yeah, it wants to to make that tall format. Not good. Well, you know, it's a it's a newish app, so hopefully they'll fix some of those things. I personally will probably write something to them to let them know what's going on with that cuz you know, the developers need to know these things. They need to know what the people want. I've written Procreate multiple times. <laughs> but, you know, so once you record the video, I recommend recording it in your nine by 16 or you know, recording it in that vertical recording. Otherwise it won't turn out right right now. And then you can take that video and post it to Instagram or post it to Facebook or wherever you do your posting on social media or share it with friends and family. Now what I would like to see in the future is that fix to the video and then also 
a way to export this into a format that anyone could use with their camera. Like it would be something that other people could use. Because right now, I don't see a way to export anything. If I go to select, it just asks me if I want to delete things. <laughs> no, I don't want to delete any of those. Okay. So, yeah, there are some ways that they could add to and improve this app. But for now, it's pretty cool to share this kind of stuff on social media and freak out your friends. They'll be like, what? How did you do that? All right. Hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. And thank you so much for your support. I appreciate all of it. And it helps me do stuff like this and learn other things so that I can bring them to you. And hope you have a good rest of your day. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.